Hello and welcome to another episode with Sundu. Um, let's get right off to what we're doing here on this video. And I thought, um, you know, I, I would help out, you know, some people if they need it with orbits. Uh, not the gum, but orbits. Uh, and getting into it and keeping it stable and getting it nice and round and making sure you don't have a decaying orbit or a suborbital flight. Um, but first thing first, you want a rocket that can get you into space. Um, and that can easily, uh, actually, fuel efficient, I guess. Um, just to make sure you have enough fuel to get into the orbit to begin with. Um, and then, as one of the first well, kind of steps, I guess, to getting into orbit is you want to gradually start to lean uh, pitch uh, wherever you want uh, your orbit to go. If you want it to go 90 degrees, you point your uh, orbit, uh, your ship in that direction and go. But you gradually go there. Uh, you slowly make your way t uh, to that point, because if you go right off the bat, you're just going to crash, um, and, and, uh, blow up and kill all your Kerbals. Um, so you don't want to do that, obviously. So I'm, I just mo move my staging around, just so I, as soon as I get this stage, uh, decoupled, it'll fire the next stage, r uh, immediately, instead of, uh, decoupling, then having to hit the spacebar again to fire the engine. Because that could kill my uh, velocity. Um, so you can see I'm starting to make my way towards that, towards the uh, horizontal point that'll get me into the uh, orbit that I desire. And there's staging, and I'm kind of spinning out of control here. Now, normally what I do is that when I get my apoapsis to a certain desired height, I normally cut off my engines and then uh, go on from there, I guess. And then I fast forward until I get to the apoapsis, and then I begin my burn uh, to uh, get into my orbit. Now, that isn't normally a great idea because you start falling and... Um, your your uh, growth of the orbit doesn't normally go that fast. So what you want to do is, uh, well, this is what I kind of did is uh, I put, like you see in the video, a nav nav node there, uh, just below the apoapsis, uh, kind of give me a round orbit, at least get my periapsis up. Uh, which is your lowest point of your orbit. Apoapsis is your highest point of orbit. Uh, and when you're in orbit, you want to try and keep those as even as possible. Um, because um, one or two things. One, it, the lowest point could... Uh, it's mostly about the lowest point, because the lowest point could either crash you into the planet if it's too low, or it could slingshot you uh, in w way off uh, into outer space, where, when, uh, wherever. Um, a lot of ships have, in my game have crashed because of that, and you know, don't want that. So what you're gonna see me do here is go to my apoapsis and point to my apoapsis node, which is what you see on the nav ball right now, and uh, get it to a desired height that I want it, and then go to the periapsis, and turn to the periapsis node, which you'll see in a bit, right there, it's coming up on the nav ball, um, and then get that down to, um, your desired height, and just pretty much repeat, <coughs> and that's pretty much how getting into orbit. So like, favorite, subscribe, all that jazz, and I hope this helped you, uh, you beginners, somewhat and I'll try and come up with more some more uh tutorials and uh so yeah
Bye.